My what do you TV. want me to say? Episode 8. We're going to Vegas. Take 13. I'm a dog. He's a dog. Good evening, Mott Militia. This is my TV. It is Friday, the 20th of March. Uh, happy March Madness. Important to be animated. I am uh, Christopher Michael Sanchez. I'm Zachary Meadscow. And, and you are Jules. Jules, baby. And you are. He's just a dog. We're He's all Mr. Just dogs. Okay, so uh, a few uh, great things happening recently, especially this week. Next week, uh, Jules, you want to kick it off with uh, what's going down? They're going to Vegas, baby. They're we going, are to, going Vegas. to Vegas. Las Vegas. Huge shout out, yeah. huge to Michelle Satris. She uh, arranged our whole trip. What's going down so, though? We're so going to Las what's, Vegas. We're going what's to Las Vegas? Vegas to do six assemblies at three different elementary schools. Six assemblies, six. three. It's like a whirlwind tour. And we're staying at the Hard Rock. The Hard Rock. Yay! Woo so what what goes down in these assemblies? Um, dog education, and what? Mr. Mutt. Canine advocacy. Yeah. So who all is gonna be there? Liz. Me, you, Liz. Maggie, Hooch. Hooch, Mama Soph, um, Lucy, and this guy. I think that's all. Mr. Andy Son. And for those of you who don't know, the Miracle Mutts team travels to schools, centers for education, uh, developmental, you know, centers for developmental disabilities, physical disabilities, really any place that will have us where we can utilize the canine human bond to make a difference. These this team goes with our therapy and service mutts in training or are already therapy and service mutts that are certified and they go make a difference man they go affect kids and, and make a difference with children which is the our core demographic that's who we want to target the most if we're going to make a difference and with spay and neuter and with uh, shifting that cultural paradigm to where we value our dogs like our children's gotta start at the roots that's right at the roots uh another thing i wanted to add a lot of people have been asking about uh this this big uh topic Leonard and George. Uh. Leonard and George. So some of you guys, well, what's, what's the, the question? Uh, I guess the biggest question is why uh, are, they, are they getting separated? Yeah. Why are they getting separated? Uh, yes. So I perfectly understand why a lot of our followers would be upset that we're separating Lenny and George. This is George, of course. Lenny is a very large Great Dane who's outside. They came in together to the uh, Bakersfield City Shelter, and they were a bonded pair. Originally, our plan was to adopt them together. Uh, that's proven to be very difficult, for one, so adopting them together is, uh, is virtually impossible, and it's really stagnated their growth uh, as they've grown codependent with one another. Any of you people who are familiar with codependency, it's not a good thing. So when George is constantly looking for Lenny or Lenny's constantly looking for George, they upset each other's balance. Lenny's a very um, hyper uh, and sensitive dog. And when we remove George from the mix, he gets better. He acclimates better. He calms down. So, you know, George, Lenny has some, the Great Dane has some, some relatively acute issues that we need to deal with. And if we're going to progress with them, if we're going to have him grow, he needs to do it on his own and not be looking towards his brother. So... From a dog psychology standpoint, it's very important that if we are to do best by the dogs and if we're going to keep their best interests in mind, we need to, to look for the right home, which is going to be Lenny by himself and George by himself. Uh, George has a great opportunity this weekend. He's going to head down to the Dog Psychology Center, which is Cesar, Cesar Milan's kind of a canine ranch. And he's going to interview with Jen Gray and the rest of the staff there and will hopefully become one of Cesar's pack. So Caesar's pack, um, Holly and Buddha and and um, Apollo and all the rest of the famous dogs that you've seen on on Caesar on Rescue 911 and on Dog Whisper, uh, he'll hopefully join that pack because he's a feisty little guy. He's gr grown up with big dogs, and what he'll do is is exist as a teaching dog, as a dog that gets to teach training Caesar's Way students, uh, of which there are probably about 50 every couple of months that come through the center. So he'll be very well loved and taken care of by, uh, by Jen Gray and by Robert, um, who are the staff there. And um, he'll probably live with Jen and Rosha, who is one of our Vafa rescues from Iran. 
So we just need to, I know it's a tough subject for you guys and it was tough, a uh, tough decision for us to come by, but at the end of the day, we got to keep what's best for them in mind, however difficult that is for us. Uh, it's important not to anthropomorphize our dogs to the extent that it's going to hinder their progress and, um, and really the, the love that they receive. You know, we need to keep their best interests in mind. So hope that's a, a well enough explanation for you guys and that it makes sense. Uh, feel free to email Christopher.Sanchez at Marley's Mutts if you have any other questions about it. Chris.Sanchez Sorry, Chris. at Marley's Mutts dot com. Uh, moving forward, uh, how's property hunting going? Property hunting's going great. We uh, we're looking for a place. We're looking at a place here in Tehachapi, which could uh, really be the the future center of of our rescue ranch, of our canine rehabilitation center. So we're looking all over the place still. We haven't settled on any place, but we've got a. Um, a, you know, we've been getting tremendous support from you guys, saving a lot of money um, to apply to this property. We've got, you know, a, a good group of people potentially helping us out with a loan um, through the bank or otherwise, and, and we're in good hands. We got a great group of real estate lawyers through real estate lawyers through Klein, Dean, Natalie, and Goldner that we can call on, and uh, it's going well. It's going good. Uh, moving another moving forward. Uh, one thing we've never mentioned on here on Mutt TV is Marley's Mutt's NorCal. Uh, can you give us information on Marley's Mutt's NorCal? Yeah, I can. Uh, I wish Jason Nielsen were here because uh, Marley's Mutt's NorCal is his baby. Jason Nielsen is uh, one of my homies, one of our homies. He heads uh, Marley's Mutt's NorCal. They've actually purchased their property through private funding, um, which they're moving forward with, and they're starting with bare bones. they got a big chunk of land and are moving forward. Bubba's doing great. He's working towards adoption. Um, Blanco... I mean, uh, Blanco's moving towards adoption. Bubba's up there as our mascot. Um, we've, we've teamed up with a lot of good people up there. So um, I know a lot of you volunteers have filled out applications, and hopefully Jessica up there, uh, who's in charge of volunteers up north, is getting back to everybody. And um, we're just stoked to have that team. Jessica and, and Jason are, are really good people, great additions to this crew. So we're expanding. We're getting bigger. Expanding. That's right. Um, just a quick heads up, I'll mention it to you on Mail Monday. Don't forget, National Puppy Day is Monday. Nice. This coming mo Monday. What do Don't you go out and buy puppies. That's not what it's intended for. <laughs> National Puppy Day is not go buy puppies day. It's not how um, it's to be celebrated. What is it for, Zachary? I, I, don't, I was hoping you knew. Oh, uh, National Puppy Day is just a day to celebrate puppies. Celebrate puppies like yourself? I am a full-grown adult. You are an adult dog. Okay. That's right. That's a good point. I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah, I guess maybe we'll post some of our puppies on Puppy Day. Yeah. When is Puppy Day? Next Monday. Next Monday. On Next Mail Monday. Monday. On Mail Monday. Mail I'll, also I'll give you day. another. Hopefully, maybe we'll have uh, Marley's Mutt's puppy. Yeah, that'd be nice. We'd have to get Amanda up here, but I'm down with that. Absolutely. What are you doing for Puppy Day? Driving to Las Vegas. Yes. What are I'll be with Hooch and Mama Soph and Maggie. And the rest of us cars. are just being puppies. Uh, any Anything, would you like to add something, Julie? Um, Zachary meets Kyle? Uh, party on? No? That's already taken. We can't use that. George. George, do you have anything to offer? George. No, that's about it. Good, good luck to George. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck to George Saturday at the dog, or Sunday at the Dog Psychology Center. He's going to be interviewing with the crew there, see how he gets along with uh, Apollo and the rest of the gang. Um, so that'll be great. We're excited about that. So for everyone here at the rescue, uh, and everyone part of the rescue. And everybody who helped out today at our big rescue. We, we rescued oh, yes. eight or nine dogs today from the uh, Kern County Shelter, including two pit bulls. Dottie, who'd been there for um, three months. Dottie had puppies at the shelter. All of them died. They were, they were um, stillborn and deformed. She had a really tough stay there, but the staff fell in love with her. And, uh, and so they, they said, you got to pull this girl for us. So we temperament tested her with another, uh, with a blind pit bull that we pulled. Um, and she did spectacular and the blind pit bull did well. Um, uh, he's probably going to have to have inoculation surgery to remove his eyes, but, um, everybody's doing really good. Uh, Dash, uh, quick shout out to Dash's foster family, as well as, um, the woman that found Dash, who we named, we named Dash after her son who, uh, who passed. Shout out to that crew. Uh, everybody really did a spectacular job. It's a community, man. This rescue is a community organization, and all of these things are, are possible because you guys come together, in many cases, completely at the drop of a hat. Just mo form like Voltron, hey, and we're proud of you. How many pit bulls were pulled? 
Uh, two? Did you know that three of our Miracle Mutts are Pitbulls? That's right. Three, three of our Miracle Mutts are Pitbulls. So have that. Hiders. Hiders. I'm a dog. <laughs> He's a dog. So for uh, everyone up here at the rescue and anyone uh, part of the rescue, have a very wonderful and safe weekend. Uh, and uh, good night. I am Christopher Michael Sanchez. I'm Zachary Mitzko. Hug your puppies. I will see. Oh, yeah. That's Jules. Jules. Oh, he's a dog. I will see you on the flip side. Purse. <laughs> We're still recording. <laughs> Mr. <laughs>